Hello, and welcome to my studio. I'm Kathy Skaggs, and I'm here today to help you work with printing on clay. We talked about how to make the inks. We talked about some uh, easy screen developing. We talked about making some like super simple silk screens. We talked about making some cylinder cups. So easy, we did that last week. And this week we're gonna talk about glazing because once you do all your patterns, that's well and good, but now how are you gonna glaze them? And that's what we're gonna talk about this week. So let's get started. We're mainly gonna talk about three different things today as we glaze. We've been talking about underglaze. Underglaze is a clay-based colorant that goes under a glaze. It doesn't have any glaze components. And that's why it's so great for making the printing ink that we've been making lately. So we've been talking a lot about that. We also are gonna talk about these glazes. These are teacher's palette light glazes and they come in a wide variety of colors like this. Teacher's palette light is great because it is translucent so we can see our underglaze decoration and it works great on texture. So it does two things really well. But not only do they make beautiful colors independently, they mix together like paints. Not meaning you would mix these two together in a cup. It means you'd put one coat of this and one coat of this and they would affect each other. And I'm gonna show you some results because I have been doing a lot of firing on all the things that we've made so far. So we have that. The other thing we've got is this jug of F10 Clear. Now there's a couple of different clears you can use. There's F10 Clear, that's this one. It's kind of beige in color. And there's a pink one, LG10 Clear. They're the same thing. You can use them interchangeably. Take a look at this. This has all been underglazed. And then this part has got just a clear glaze. Notice the way the colors boosted up and that the darkers get much darker. And you can even see some texture here. This is why I'm a big proponent of sponging under glazes on, not brushing them on. Because it looks beautiful like texture if kids don't get enough on it or if you don't get enough on it. And um, it looks like beautiful texture and not bad brush strokes because you don't see those brush strokes till you're at the end. And oh my, that's not so good. Let's glaze. I got overwhelmed by glazes, under glazes, and glaze choices. The first set of glazes are teacher's palette. Now, not teacher's palette light, teacher's palette. They're solid, they're opaque. If I had one money for one set of glazes, this is where I'd go. And if I had young kids, this is where I'd go. Because the colors look like what they're gonna look like before and after they're fired, and they mix like paints. If you put red and yellow together, you get orange. So they work great. They're solid, they are opaque. So the next thing I would add to my classroom is teacher's palette light. Because they're translucent, you can now go over and under glaze and you can go over texture. These are really good for young kids that have really worked that clay and kind of mangled it and they don't get those smooth surfaces, which I think are fabulous. They can put these layers of color on and they mix beautifully. Throw out your worry about complementary colors because I have overlapped some of these colors and they have worked great. My next thing that I would get in a classroom, or in your case, maybe a studio, is some underglaze. What I've done in the past is to buy the darker colors and double white and yellow, and I mix my own colors. And if I can't afford that, I do a lot with black. If you do a lot with black and then cover it over with the teacher's palette light, you've added your color without introducing more underglaze colors. And last but not least is the clear glaze. You can put the clear over the black underglaze. You can put the teacher's palette light over the underglaze. You can combine, which I'll show you in a minute, the clear and the teacher's palette light together. 
You can put, you can even combine Teacher Palette Light and Teacher Palette because they're the same glaze family. They can work together. I've taken a squirt bottle and drawn on a piece with Teacher's Palette, solid, opaque, like acrylics, and I've glazed over it with Teacher's Palette Light, like watercolors, translucent. So let's see how this works. These are some tiles that I printed on with the easy screen and we did that early on. The one in the top left has one coat of clear. I don't add one more, any more than one good heavy coat of a clear glaze because I find that it doesn't always make a difference and when I was teaching it's a way that I could cut some cost. If you take teacher palette light that I just showed you that is these. If you take Teacher's Palette Light and mix it 50-50 with the clear, you kind of leach out the color. You still have the color, but it's more translucent. And I love being able to see all the underglaze decorations I've done. The next one is just one coat of the Teacher Palette Light. Just one coat. It works great. And the last one is three coats. I probably wouldn't use three coats unless I really wanted to, you know, put a dense coverage. And again, if you're on a budget, why not use one coat? You can see through it. Look how beautifully it covers. Let's talk about the slabs that we did early on where we printed on the moist clay. This is one of them. So if you need to know that, you can go back through the videos when we used Easy Screen on the moist slab. Let me show you what I've done here. On the far right, one third of it is coated with one coat of clear glaze. To me, when I can add a little additional color, I almost kind of like to color boost it up a little bit. So the middle section, I put one coat of the aquamarine. So I did two thirds of that plate with aquamarine. And then on that last third, I covered it over with one coat of 28 sapphire. Now you can see it gets dark. It's a very rich, luscious, beautiful color. But sometimes for me, it can get a little dark when I'm working with underglazes. If I'm just using texture, oh, fabulous. But over an underglaze. This is one where we printed on a bisque tile. And this has one coat of clear. And the other side, I just put one coat of the citrine. Notice what the citrine does to that floral image. See how it shifts it more toward a green? So you can kind of control your colors that way. Okay, then we did transfer prints. What we did is we put the underglaze on newsprint and then we transferred that with casting slip onto a slab. Remember the one that we did finger painting wise? And if not, you need to go look at it because look at those strips that we use with the finger painting. So the left has clear glaze on it and it really shows up those swirls. Then the center, from the center toward the right, all the way from the center toward what's on the right, I put citrine, the yellow, and I covered two thirds of the plate with yellow. And then I went back and covered one third of the, the plate with the fire opal. They're overlapped, just like the arrows show you on there. So you can see that those oranges of the underglaze squares, how they change with that yellow and kind of disappear with more of a matching color. Also notice in the center where we had the blue swirls that were covered by the yellow, it's shifted to green. So, you know, you can do a lot of things by that top coat of glaze. Okay, this is one, this was another transfer print we did. Just to remind you, we drew on a piece of newsprint and we transferred it with water onto bisque and then added some underglaze. The top has one coat of the teacher's palette light over, you know, I painted over the whole thing and the bottom has clear. Now, we did these crazy simple silk screens with the underglazes. And I'm telling you, if you haven't seen that one, that's one you need to go back and check out. This one, it was painter's tape on organza fabric from Joann's Fabrics. 
we just stuck the painter's tape on. On the left, you have bisque, no glaze. And on the right, you have one coat of clear. Look at how streaky that underglaze, that bright green underglaze is, number one. And know that you're going to get those streaks. If you like that streakiness, that's fine. But if you don't, pull out the sponges. They work great. Also notice that blue-green that is printed on the top. Look how dark it got. So be prepared for those darker colors to really go dark. This was a surprise. This one was this. It was stickers that I had that I put on a, a piece of organza and I silk screened. That's those rectangles in the back and then I stenciled these birds. So this is what you're seeing here. On the left, after I bisque it, on the left I put one coat of the zircon, it's like a bluish color. And on the right, I put one coat of the fire opal. It really popped up that orange. So look at how this texture in the back is invisible because I put an orange on an orange. And then last but not least, I put the clear glaze over the whole thing, including those TPL colors. If you don't want to have your kids mixing their your glazes, what you can do instead is have them put one coat of the TPL and one coat of the clear on top. Doesn't work quite, you know, it doesn't bleach out the color twice as much, but it will work. Was this one where we took scrap paper and glued it with a little white glue onto the organza and printed it. Again, we covered it with the yellow, the citrine, and look on the right, it lightened up the background color and it kind of evened out See where you can see all the sponge marks on the left with that lighter color? They disappeared with that other, with the yellowish color. This was another one that I was surprised at how, how well it went. This one was the glue uh, and white glue on organs and I let it dry. And again, if you're wondering how this was done, go back in the videos, it's all there. And this is one that I printed on this uh, turquoisey background with this purple. So on the left I put a clear coat on the whole thing. The upper right is bisque unglazed but that lower right where I put that blue TPL that color is beautiful. Last but not least our cylinder cups. On the inside I put teacher's palette. Opaque, can't see through three. I definitely put three coats in there on, of that because I wanted it to cover. I think the white is really good for functional things. The other cup, I just kind of wanted to matchy matchy the color. Three coats. And then on the exterior, I put one coat of the teacher's palette light. And that's the one that we did. The one on the left is the one we did with transfer prints and then built it around a pool noodle. Oh, fabulous. And the one on the right was where we use the McDonald's cup as a template. This one was done using a McDonald's cup we cut apart to use as a template. And if you didn't see that video, go check it out. And this one we did around a pool noodle and then the, did this crazy tripod bottom that worked great. So I hope that helps you to figure out how you are gonna glaze in your studio or in your glass classroom.